Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial. Today we are going to build uh, a video called Applications using a WebRTC, Socket IO, and Angular. So, in the previous video, in one of my video, I show you this stack: WebRTC, uh, WebSocket, Angular, and Material UI. And now we are going to do the same thing, but Instead of WebSocket, we are going to use uh, Socket IO. And uh, before continuing here, at the end of this application, let's see what you can expect to have. So you will have an uh, uh, application like this one. And then here is running on HTTPS. So uh, as you can see, it's running on HTTPS locally. So we are going to create local certificates. And then we are going to build an application like this one, where uh, we can start a call. And you can see when we start a call here, we can see here from the receiver uh, if you want to accept or refuse. If we accept, then you can see that here is my local video and remote video. And then you can stop the call. And this is this one because I'm currently doing everything now from my laptop. But if I access this one from my mobile or any other device, then you may see a different uh, video here in the remote area. So that one is set. Then let's uh, go and start building our applications. So I will first stop uh, this call and then <clears throat> just stop again the running up. Then we are going to start uh, a fresh instance of VS Code. Here is a French instance of VS Code that we have. Then we select the terminal here. And then let's go uh, to the directory. So here is where you want to create our projects. And then on that one is done, then we are going to uh, create, I suppose that you already have a uh, uh, Angular install in your system. So I'm going to, I'm using Angular 18. So ng new. Then I will call this one Angular Web RTC Socket IO. Zero zero one. So uh, this is the name of uh, this project. So it will take some time. And then here we are going to take CSS. And then here we select no. We use all the default. And It is installing and generating uh, installing packages and making our projects ready. Just take some time. So on this one is ready now. So what we are going to do now is um, to clean up this one. And uh, 
let's go and open the directory so here it is our projects here so we can open it and open again our terminal we just open our terminal so <coughs> Once uh, that one is done, then uh, we are going to uh, create a, a folder. Not not. Okay, we are going to make a directory server. So we have created a new server here, and then. Inside server here, we are going to make uh, create another directory that we call sets. So, and then we go into set, and then inside set now, uh, what we do now is. Uh, to create uh, the certificate, local certificate. In this video here, I explain this in, in deep, how we can run Angular locally with uh, HPS using MSET. So doing the installations and everything is here. If you haven't watched this video, please watch this one and see how you set it up. So all that one is done. We come back here. So. <clears throat> clear this one mk set versions here is the versions of uh, m set that we have uh, currently installed in our system then um, all that is there then we also need to uh, type ip config like this one so we can see that here is um, here is our IP address. So this is our IP address now. Then let's generate some certificates. And in order to generate some certificates, what we do is this one. So we write mset localhost. 127.001 and this one is our local IP so that we can access uh, our applications in the local network. So what this one is going to do now is that it's going to generate certificate as you can see here, it generate a certificate and the key. So this is our certificate and the key here. Then once that one is done, our certificate is ready. So you have to get out and then <clears throat> get out and then inside uh, the server here we are going to install uh, HTTPS so the HTTPS here is installed it's ready and then we have to continue now and then then let's clear the screen and uh, if uh, we go out of this one we come back to this one go to this uh, main folder here then uh, we are going to install uh, the socket IO client so the socket IO client is installed. Then now we are going to uh, ng generate uh, ng uh, generate components called uh, video call. So. Uh, 
okay you can see that here inside here we have uh, a component here is uh, generated here call uh, video call then uh, another thing that we have to do is uh, to generate a service So here we are going to generate again ng generate service and uh, we call it uh, media service. So we have our media service which is there and then so many things so once that uh, is done let's uh, go back now to our server and inside here let us accept everything so you write npm npm init yes so by running this one, anything that we are going to run here will be uh, accepted. That's the initializations. So then after that one, we are going to uh, create, uh, install. Uh, we just install Express and Socket IO in our server. Then now we can come and create a folder, a, 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 just a file called uh, server.gs. So we just created uh, this file now. We just created uh, that file. And then it's there. And uh, so one thing that I can do is we can create a folder here called uh, services. We just take this one and we can drag our service and put it inside. It's better. So that one will be better. And uh, So uh, here is that. So it's ready now. So <coughs> this is what we have uh, done so far. And then now we have to write some code uh, now in the, we have to write some code in server to prepare our server so we start with a backend so before starting with a backend in the previous uh, in another tutorial uh, in in this tutorial here I try to explain all the basics here if you watch here I try to explain all the basics what have we set up different component that uh, we might use and I also wrote this article about uh, some uh, advantages of using uh, socket IO over WebSocket. You can see all these posts here with more documentation. So I'm going to make these sessions here more uh, practical. But the only thing that I want to uh, highlight here um, will be this one. So what we try to achieve here will be very simple with uh, socket IO here which will serve as our signaling server and everything socket IO try to handle everything for a stop level so we don't need to go into the detail but nevertheless here we'll have uh, here is a caller and then here is the colleague so a receiver and then 
you have our socket IO led this one. So what we do now is that we are going once you start a call an offer will be created here an offer is created and sent here to socket IO which serve uh, which uh, run as which uh, is our server and then the server will uh, receive uh, the offer then for what uh, the offer offer here to the colleague or the receiver then once uh, the receiver accept uh, uh, accept the offer so when we start you see a problem with accept or reject once it's accepted an answer is created so answer is created and then answer is sent back to the server and then the server for what this one to uh, the caller and this is how the connections is established. So this is what we are going to do now. We will do throughout this session to establish uh, the call applications. So then uh, once that one is highlighted, then let's go back uh, to our coding. <coughs> so yeah, uh, that is that here. So we will start with uh, we are going to create some uh, variables here. So I just keep this one here. So we declare uh, Express here, then the file system. This is HTTPS and then socket IO and the path and everything. So once that one is done, next thing that we have to do is to load uh, the SSS uh, certificate. So we are loading the certificates. So we load uh, the certificate here. By loading the certificate set here, we'll refer uh, to this. Uh, everything is inside this folder here. So we go through this set. And when you go into this set here, we have uh, the certificate here and the key. So that is what, uh, that's what we are reading now. And once we read that one now, we can create a uh, the server so we need to uh, create we need to create a server so we go down here and then we are just creating the server here and then if you want to use a local host then you can uh, use this one and then because you want to this one to be accessed over the local network we are going to use our local ip and then is c-o-r-s c-o-r-s to allow origins so this one is important and then on that one is done now we are going to create some events we are going to create some events and then <clears throat> Here is on connections when the connections is uh, once we connect uh, we we have a new client is connected here and when there is an offer when the offer is created and received then we are going to log it so the server what the server the client will send uh, here is the client we send the offer uh, to the server and once the server it is you will need to broadcast it you broadcast uh, uh, the message to other clients except the server itself or except uh, the sender itself so you will accept it. if you have many clients here it will be uh, sent to to the other client so that's what is going here so we receive the message and we broadcast same thing with the answer we receive it and then we broadcast to the caller so we have also the certificate here the certificate is uh, this one is sent along with uh, certificate is always sent along with the answer and the offer and the answer each time and when we disconnect same thing here we are going to lock uh, the message that uh, it's been disconnected so then here our server is going to be listening on the port 3000 so we save this one 
then clear the screen and then write node manager if you don't have node man you can use a uh, node yeah we can use node so <coughs> run that one okay congratulations everything is running here we can even see that uh, three clients are already uh, connected and these uh, clients are from from here so remember from this uh, client that we have uh, this one is disconnected and then if i turn again off this one will be uh, disconnected so but once we prepare the front end this one will will will, will go up so for now is is there everything is okay then we are going to start a new terminal now and then inside that one uh, we need to start uh, we need to start our front end and then in order to start uh, our front end in order to start our front end we are going to use a uh, Let me show you here. So this is the command that we use with starting. We are not just going to write ngsf, no. We write ng here, you specify the host and the port that we want it to be accessible on. And then under these options here, we specify the locations of our uh, certificates and the key here. So it's located on the server set. So it is located on the server set here. This is that here. So we are going to run uh, that. We just run it and it's building. Okay, it's running now. And then if we start again this one, Okay, congratulations, then we can see that our two clients here are running, so we are good to go now. So, <clears throat> we are good to go. So, <clears throat> then now, so the first thing that we need to do now is uh, implement uh, our service. So in order to implement our service here, we are coming here to a service. <coughs> and uh, that one will be straightforward. Uh, we are going to uh, define a couple of attributes. So here, the first thing that we do is um, we are going to declare uh, some attributes here socket and if you want to this one we need to import socket and then uh, socket Okay, we will come back uh, to this error now. And then the next thing now we need also need to uh, declare some uh, emitters to notify uh, the component of call events. So here are they here. And uh, if we just update this, Okay, and uh, yeah, that is it now. So <clears throat> then we can now go to our constructor, save this one. Undefined here, set this one to undefined is okay. So what we have to do now is uh, to replace, uh, to initialize uh, 
the uh, the socket I/O connections to the signal in server. So in order to do that one, we have to just init socket equal I/O. Then here HTTPS slash nine two one six eight dot one dot one three. There it is that. Also update the imports. Then now we are going to uh, declare create one uh, to initialize events for signaling uh, even listeners for the signaling uh, messages so in order to do that uh, we are going to write initialize socket events Installize circuit events and then here we are going to declare the method. Here is the method which is declare. We empty this one. <coughs> then uh, now let us uh, set up. Let us. Uh, set up uh, the event listeners for socket IO to handle signaling messages. Then <coughs> Here we just have to do some a little bit uh, is, is small uh, implementations here. So <coughs> I will quickly put this one. <coughs> so we are going to uh, listen for an offer message from the caller and uh, undefined. So if I just remove this, so it's okay now. <laughs> so here we listen for the offer message. So we are listening for the offer message here and then on we receive it, then we notify the component of incoming call here. So this incoming call emits here. Then now we set up uh, the connections for the colleague. So that's what is happening here. We wait for the offer message. So once we receive this one, we set up the connections now to send uh, for the colleague here. So this is what we are doing now. And then we need to create a method, create connect, create here connections method. Then now, same thing that we have done for uh, the offer here, we are going to do a similar things now for uh, for the answers so this one has gone we have created the connections now so we reach uh, the colleague now and then the answer once the offer is received remotely then an answer should be uh, created here so then we listen for the certificates. We listen for the certificate, same logics as before. Then 
uh, us that uh, is done now. We are going to create uh, here in order to create a peer connections here, we are going to make use of a stone server. So there are many stone server that uh, you could use. And uh, we can just say here stone server list. If you come here to stone server list, you say this one here, you can see that there are literally a lot of uh, stone server that you can use. So you can use uh, any of them here. So, <coughs> and uh, so we need uh, the first thing that we need to do now is to initialize uh, the peer connections with uh, optional with an optional stone server. So this one just allow if I have my local laptop here. In order to know my IP address and my uh, my public information here, I need to make use of the stone server. So this stone server here is what allow us to discover our identity in the web. So that is uh, what I can say here about uh, the stone server. So <coughs> you can see that here we are creating a peer connections with this one with the options and then now we listen for uh, the next thing that we have to do now is to come and listen for ice candy that generated by uh, the peer connections and send them to the other other peer so here is that Next thing here is listening for uh, incoming media. So most of this concept here, I've already in explained them in detail in a uh, WebSocket uh, tutorial. So this is why I'm not, uh, most of the things here, and I also explained the socket IO, how it work is in some of another tutorial. So. I hope that you are familiar with on with emit broadcasting and on on events handling and so on 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 socket IO. I'm not going through that uh, basics now here. So <coughs> here we listen for the incoming call, incoming media tracks from uh, the remote peer. So here is that here on track event here. So that is here setting a remote stream. So by this one here, we are emitting uh, the remote stream to the component for display. Then once uh, the connections is created now, mm. yeah, that. <coughs> And then once we create a connections, of course, we also need to uh, clean up. We also need to clean up. So once we create a connections, it's a good practice also to clean up, close the connections and release all the resources. So that's what we hear. We check if the connections is there. If there, then we close it and then clear it, reset. Uh, the PA by setting it to to null. Then uh, here is that now, and once uh, that one is done now, so we uh, remember now we need to request uh, uh, the permission. So we need to uh, request. Uh, access to the media and audio stream. So this one here I've discussed abundantly in my short videos on WebRTC, how you can request uh, the permissions, <coughs> how you request uh, permissions and so on. So then now we are going to declare another method now. So 
we are going to declare uh, one method here and in this method here what we do here is here is navigator which represent our browser we go to our browser we say hey browser can you give me access to uh, the camera and uh, the audio microphones in your devices and here we turn on the camera but the audio here we set it to false if you set this one on you are going to get some interferences now not good for recording but when developing you can set this one to true and uh, yeah so we get the stream here and this one here is going to return uh, the stream so that is important to have uh, our stream and then we just need uh, we are almost there we just need uh, two things now so we need now to uh, we have initialized the events we have created the com uh, connections we clean up stuff here and then before closing here what we will do is uh, we'll have uh, we need to accept calls we have one method here for accepting call and then this is a standard method in any uh, any call applications so we also we can start the call no let me say this so we start the call and then once we start it we can accept the call we can also reject reject the call and then we can also stop the call so these are the four uh, method that we have to implement on we implement this one then our applications should be uh, ready our application should be ready so in order to do that we are going to start with uh, starting the call and then <coughs> So, because this one is an asynchronous uh, uh, functions now, stuff are kept in the background. Everything is done in the background and when we can do other options. So, this is going to be asynchronous here. Yeah? So, yeah, start call. And then, so what we do now is uh, we initialize our connections. Once we call this, uh, in this call here, we make use of our connections creations with everything that is in. And then now, this, uh, and then now we add, uh, we add the local video, we add the local, uh, we add the local uh, video and video and audio, audio tracks to the connections and as you remember in another tutorial I, I said this one like we uh, what we do here when we set up uh, the connections here we put stuff like track this track track here you have tracks here you set tracks just like a railway establish the connections we put some track track for the video track for the audio and then we can balance stuff on that one so we can balance from here we can send some here we can send here and uh, that's uh, the concept that's what uh, we are doing <coughs> then this one local stream we get the tracks and then for each tracks here we add uh, 
we add the local and audio tracks on, on that one for each track on into the, our connections here. So then we create uh, the STP offer. We create the STP offer. And then <coughs> we set uh, the local uh, descriptions with uh, the created offer here. Then, bam, emit it, we send uh, the offer to the colleague via uh, socket IO. The socket IO is our middleman here. So when we start a call here, then we have to pass it to the socket IO. By emitting here, it goes here. Knowing that it will be uh, socket IO here, will forward uh, that, would forward uh, whatever we send here to, uh, to other client here using different method here, emitting here. So we can see the offer come here, then broadcast emit here, it will be emitted. So that's uh, what is happening here. Then <coughs> and uh, we start the call and then we are starting the call and then we can also accept now the incoming call. So the guy on the remote now is free to accept it. And uh, by accepting, we do, uh, we do the same things here. We are adding, uh, we are adding the local tracks, local and audio tracks uh, to our local stream. Then we create uh, the STP here for the answer. Remember here, we create the STP here. Session description protocol here, session description protocol here offer and then by accepting the call here we create an answer and then we set that answer here in the local descriptions protocol local here is from the remote side so <clears throat> from the remote perspective the answer is local and the offer is remote so I hope that one is there. Then, as before, then we have to send the offer to the caller via the socket IO using emit here. Then now, if we reject the call, if we reject the call, then that one is easy now. We have just have to clean up. We just have to clean up. By cleaning up means that we check if the connection is there. If it's there, then we close it and then we reset it. And then we continue now with uh, stopping the call. By stopping the call now, so by stopping first clean up and then now try to stop release all after we stop then we have to release uh, the resources we release the camera and the microphones then we set uh, we emit uh, we reset uh, the remote video so we are uh, good to go and then now we need to uh, come back now to <clears throat> we need to uh, come back and uh, implement uh, we need to come now to our video call components and do uh, some implementations here. So the first thing that uh, we have to do here, we have to do here is to implement our own init.
on init interface. So we implement our own init interface and then the second thing is to clear our constructor and then inject the service. I will call it private web RTC service and then here will be of type media service. So this one by doing this one now we just uh, inject our service here in the component so that we can use it. So, but uh, before doing that, we make use of some attributes. We make use of some attributes here. This one is to all uh, the local media stream. And then we have some flags here to detect uh, the incoming call and to track here the progress. So this one is used to check or if uh, the track, if the call is active or not. Then, <clears throat> once that one is done, we need, uh, we can take this selector, we take this selector and come to our app components, they come to our app components and invoke it here. And then here we are going to uh, import the components, video call uh, component inside our app component here. So you can see it has been imported. So we save, we save that and inside our video the contents here, we should have video call works. Bam, so it's there, it's working. So everything so far so good. Everything is working as uh, expected. Then, uh, on init now, On init, we need uh, to initialize uh, the local stream, the local media stream. So this local stream is equal to a weight. Web service initialize initialize media initialize media here and uh, add a sync modifier. Okay, just add that. And then now get the local video elements. So we need to get the local video elements. Local video elements is equal to documents. Get element by ID local video. So for call, before doing this one, we have to prepare our our front end. In order to prepare our front end here, I just prefer uh, the HTML here with all the buttons here. So this one is the area for our local video. 
and then here is the area for our remote video and then remote video is only shown if the call uh, is in progress and then here you have the button to uh, to start the call stop the call and this one is triggered only if incoming service is uh, is true then we will see uh, the pop-up window uh, the pop-up window with accept or reject call remaining one are just the styling so uh, quickly do that I will declare a method here I will also declare this method stop and then if we save this one Okay, I also have uh, declare this method and then here, same here, I also declare this method. Then uh, one thing is there, here we have to make use of command module. This one is there, and uh, okay, that is the issue. If you go here, is the local email that we have to get. Yeah, is uh, the local video. So we need to take this one. If we come back here, single quote, local video as html html okay html video element okay we have seen our structure is now ready here with start call here and we have the local video and everything so <coughs> then <coughs> now we need to uh, after that one is there we need to disc once we have we have uh, we have the local video we need to display the local stream in the video element so we have the local stream now so we need to display it in this uh, local video elements so in order to do that here so we first check if local video is set if it is set then uh, local uh, video set uh, resource objects resource objects then this one is equal to local stream and then once we do this one you can see that my video has already come here but yours you may have a pop-up window the first time you do this one you may have uh, the pop-up window here requesting you to accept uh, this or not accept this or not right so <coughs> to give access to the microphone and camera so please accept that one of course and uh, one thing is that here that everything is under https it's under https not http it's under https that we do uh, everything so we already have our local video which is ready And then now we go down and then subscribe to events to handle incoming call and remote stream so we need to handle the incoming calls and remote stream in order to do that so web rtc 
incoming call, we need to subscribe to our incoming call. Yes, that NG. Um, the expressions incoming call. So by this one, we are just going to show uh, the incoming call. We show uh, incoming call to true. So we show incoming call prompt, right? We show the incoming call prompt here. So if we test this, test that, if we start, Start, oh, our start, uh, this one is not yet, uh, start call is not yet implemented. So I will come back to that. Uh, then now, this uh, web service, remote stream, We have handled the incoming call. Now we need to handle uh, the remote stream. Subscribe. So I subscribing now. You have here a stream, local stream variable. That here. And then counts remote video is equal to document is equal to document get element by id uh, same as here we are just going to come here and copy this bring it here and type it then as here, we are going to cast it to the HTML video element. Then we take the same concept here. If remote video exists, then this one is equal I could just call this one remote stream. Remote stream. And here is not this here, it's local. So here is our remote stream which is set. And uh, Here is that which is set, but and we need to handle exceptions here. If we take everything here, we just put inside this catch catch hero that. Console log hero and then here hero initializing media then we have the hero here and we can bring back our logic inside the try here. So in this way here, we are handling uh, the exceptions. <coughs> we handle the exceptions now. Now uh, that's, we need to fill up this method now. To start a call, 
to start a call it should be easy web media service start call thus and then we need to track our progress check if the call is there or not we set this one to true to true here so this one is used here uh, This here is used here as a flag here to check, uh, to handle uh, the area for the remote, to show uh, is the remote symbol here or not. Right. Only for that purpose, nothing more. And uh, that one is done. We start this one then. The remote user can accept the call web service accept call you can accept the call and then this incoming call once it's accepted then we set it to false same as below then uh, call in progress, we set it to true because we have set it here, so it's true. Then we can show the remote symbol in uh, video area, and then uh, that goes now to reject the call. So if we choose to reject the call. Then same as here, we are going to take this one and reject here. Instead, we add reject here, and uh, this one here is going to be false. Then now we need to clear uh, after we reject the call, we can leave it like this simple first and uh, last thing that we have to do will be we start at the call here is to stop the call so here is that and then once we stop the call this one is going to be set false so doing this one we have implemented almost everything and then now if we go if we go now and refresh here start the call And we can see remote here, uh, but this user here is not receiving the call. Okay. Connections refuse. Tell me some things here. Uh, yes. This. Let me stop this one first. And uh, in the video call. Hmm. So, if we check uh, the server here, uh, we can see the COS here is enabled, so the problem is not there. Here we have 3000, and then in the service, 
circuit IO. Oh, here is only the IP it should be the IP and the port, which is server port 3000. Socket, yeah, which is equal socket. Socket is equal IP plus plus port. This is the basic here. So that and then now if uh, we come now refresh everything start our call we can see the accept here accept or reject here so if you reject this one we have black stuff and if you accept this one we can see the remote video here and also same thing is happening here so <laughs> that is it and then reject this one so this black stuff here we have to get rid of it so I will just refresh everything come back now uh, in the video call inside a uh, stop so we are going to clear uh, the local stream and release the resources. So local video is equal to documents get element by ID. local video and then here uh, as HTML video elements then uh, if it's set what we do is local video should be e no if the set then local video as RC object is equal null. And uh, we can do the same thing here for reject. And here it should be a uh, remote video we take this remote video remote video remote video now if we go back start the call reject this one we can see that it's gone and now if you stop this one it stop here so start again accept the call and here everything is there now you can accept it or refuse it so i hope that uh, this one is useful stay tuned in the next video where we are going to add uh, extra features on this scene and explore other uh, some new uh, features of uh, webrtc so bye